Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance on the Xbox Series X. Today's video is a short comparison video. I wanted to test a couple of things because I have been so excited to get my hands on the Xbox Series X version of this game. My main reason load times and that's where we're going to begin so loading a game from the main menu this was the result the xbox series x did it in 8.3 seconds and you're probably wondering why the xbox one x is still going uh, uh, yes it goes on for quite a while <music> 24 seconds to be exact now this isn't exactly life changing, but I really do love how fast the Xbox Series X is. Another thing to take into account here is that we're loading into Scalitz. Now Scalitz is not going to take as long to load as something like Retai. And when I finally get to Retai in the Xbox version in this game, I will be doing another video. I primarily play on PC, and even that doesn't load as quickly as this did. So one of the biggest issues with Kingdom Come Deliverance when it first launched was the fact that there was a lot of pop-in, especially on the base Xbox and PS4. Xbox One X definitely helped, but I wanted to compare both. So here we have Henry running down through Scalids, and I'm gonna say right now, there's zero difference. Xbox One X didn't really have an issue with popping as much as the original consoles did and also patches definitely helped and I want to make this very clear this is not optimized for Xbox Series X. Warhorse themselves will have to make a patch to be able to allow this to run at its full potential and I'm thinking with a patch you may be able to get rid of popping entirely. One thing that you're definitely going to notice is stuff like hats will just kind of spawn in. No longer are villagers walking around in their pants or without a head. Here's another comparison of me running back up to Henry's house and we see his mum literally pop in. Now this isn't really a fair test because she is slightly further back in the Xbox One X version. So of course she spawns in slightly later. And I think this kind of proves that in terms of pop in, this is exactly the same. Performance though, in theory, is where this game is going to absolutely destroy the other versions of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Running around and getting chased by guards, I didn't have a single issue or a stutter whatsoever. It does feel like this is still running at 30, but that could be unlocked by Warhorse themselves. I honestly believe that you could easily hit 60 in this game. Apart from in Retai, no one's ever hit 60 in Retai. Graphically, this could also be bumped up a bit. This is an example of shadows in the game. And as you can see here, they're identical. The shadows in the console versions of Kingdom Come Deliverance aren't very good. I would have said that they're on medium settings. And they have this kind of speckled look. I'm not a big fan of the shadows indoors. And the last thing I wanted to do was something that I could only do on the Series X. And that is Quick Resume. So here I am playing Fallout New Vegas. And I decided... I wanted to go back on KCD. And there's definitely a little bit of loading. It's not instant, as the thing says. And also my capture card said no signal for some reason. But as you can see, it goes incredibly quickly. We're able to jump straight back into Kingdom Come Deliverance from where we left off. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. Now, is this a game changer? I'm going to say not yet, but... If Warhorse Studios, and I know you're watching this video, Warhorse Studios, if you released a patch optimizing Kingdom Come Deliverance to run at its full potential on Xbox One X, this would be the best version of Kingdom Come Deliverance, especially with that ultra fast SSD that's in the console. There is a lot of potential here, and I'm going to say right now, they need to do something about this. And I can't wait to make a video looking at the upgrades that this game is going to get, hopefully. Anyway, what did you guys think? Comment down below. But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.
What's up?